back with Chef Ricardo back in the kitchen one more time with your dishes guys lovely dishes and amazing dishes drinks food everything you name it and you also can claim it remember Christmas is coming up very soon and we got a lot of recipe for Christmas we start to put out some Christmas tips already and there's more to come enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel and remember to get a copy of my cooking book online from Amazon and it's the best price ever in this world. We love you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Nice and lovely. Guys, we're going to make you Christmas ginger beer. This is Christmas ginger beer. So basically, I have some ginger here. I got orange. I got lemon. I got all kind of stuff right here at the moment, which I want you guys to see what's going on inside of the kitchen today. Today, we want to show you how you can make yourself some Christmas ginger beer. We want to get it on the table, done and dusted, ready for you guys. So basically, we got lemon and lime, but we're not gonna cut these because I'm already cut these one already. We got cove. Cove is a must when you're making Jamaican ginger beer, guys. It's just amazing. So basically, I got two nice, lovely, thick pieces of ginger right here. That's the key point. The key point, some people, what they do when they do their ginger, guys. All right, what I wanna simply show you. Let's, let's give you a second. What's going on? Sorry about that. Most people, yeah, they grated their ginger, but that's not how my grandmother would do it. My grandmother would beat my ginger, get a piece of a stick and beat it like this until it come crash. But some people do grater it, use here some grater. It. That's wrong. That's not the way how you make Christmas ginger beer to put on the Christmas table. Anyway, um, I have a piece of cinnamon stick right here, and I have some cove. So basically, what I do I put some cove inside of my orange like this i just put a few pieces of cove cove is very strong you cannot use too much cove guys so roughly about six pieces of cove i'm gonna be using at the moment so i have the lemon right here and i have the orange and i have the ginger as you can see everything is right here guys so now we're gonna show you how to make your christmas lovely ginger beer Nice, I love it. Inside of this pack, I have roughly five cups of water. Hey, five cups of water, guys. But what we're gonna do is to show you what we basically what we're gonna do first. First thing, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn on my stove because the water is start to boil. Don't get your water to boil. No, you don't need that. So as soon as you see your water gonna be start to get boiled, like that, you wanna get boiled over. You don't need that to make a Christmas ginger beer. Turn off your stove now, as you can see the water boil. So basically, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put some Jamaican, this is a Jamaican brown sugar inside of it. I'll just scrape out some sugar inside of it, guys. Ah, oh, lovely, nice. The reason why we're gonna put the sugar, the first thing inside of it, because the sugar gonna dissolve all over it. So basically, get a whisk, and whisk it like you're making sugar and water. But you're not making sugar and water. Alright? Lovely. Get this out of the way first. Let's get this out of the way. The sugar. Nice one. The next thing we're gonna simply do. Let's give it a taste to see how sweet it is. Uh -uh. I would give it two more spoons of sugar. So roughly, what I wanna simply say to you, taste is as it goes along is very important. All right, so I turn off my stove. Sorry guys, I didn't turn it off. Turn off my stove now. Lovely. So when you make it a Christmas ginger beer, taste it and see as it goes along if you want more sugar or if you want to add more water or sugar. But that's fine, all right? Basically, taste it again. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Then now we're gonna put in our lemon with some cove inside of it. I got three cove, one, two, three. Inside of the water, just like that. Piece of a lemon with three pieces of cove. Inside of the water like that. Bang, a nice, lovely, as I can see, ginger, beat it. 
crushed it up really nice straight inside of the water like that and I have another big thick piece also we're gonna put it straight inside of the water nice and lovely lovely beautiful I have another piece of half of an orange inside of it a nice lovely piece of a quarter piece of a lovely piece of cinnamon stick straight inside of the water one two three four more pieces of cove straight inside of the water lovely and nice then what you're gonna do if you do if you have a cover cover it but to be honest guys I don't know where I do with my pack cover for this part <laughs> that's the biggest thing at the moment so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do you're gonna use a piece of foil and cover it and seal it over like this but before we seal it make you guys can see exactly what inside of the water because what we're gonna do we're gonna draw the Jamaican ginger beer this is for Christmas, 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 guys. It's gonna be beautiful. This is a, another thing we we're gonna put on a Christmas table Jamaican ginger beer. So, as you can see, let it stay just like that. And what we're gonna do, basically, you can put it down for the next day and then you can train it, strain it off. But I'm gonna cover it like this. Lovely and nice. When you cover it just like this, it's gonna be sealed, so you're gonna be drying it. And then what you're gonna do, just put it somewhere really take it from off of the hot heat. When you take it off the, off the stove, put it somewhere like on a piece of stuff where at the side of your table on your work surface and make it stay there and jar for roughly about two to three hours. And you can leave it over for the next day or so. It's up to you, but we're gonna show you later on after the next five to six hours how it look like. Alright? Enjoy the recipe! Leave your comments below guys. Why you don't want to leave your comments? Leave your comments. I need to know what's going on for Christmas. Request something. Anyway, we got the pot roast beef coming soon. I get my Dutch pot. That's the key point. And you know what I mean? I gotta make the pot roast beef very soon. Yeah? But this is a Christmas recipe. Jamaican ginger beer is a must on Christmas table. Also, sorry drink. The sorry recipe coming up soon. Enjoy the recipe. Enjoy the recipe, guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. We got a lot more recipe coming on for you. And you know what I mean? We got a lot more tips and ideas. So enjoy this one. And later on, we're going to show you how it looks like. Nice and lovely, guys. So as you can see right here, all of my ingredients. Remember, I did make that lovely Christmas ginger beer drink. The beauty. Look at this. So I remove the plastic, the, sorry, the, 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 the foil, as you can see right here, guys. Basically, what I'm gonna do, as simple, quickly. Inside of this right here, as you can see, that's the ginger beer. Nice and lovely, but you don't see anything yet. Look at this now. So, as you can see, inside of it, that is the lovely ginger beer. So basically what I did, I draw it for roughly six hours I have it wrapped. Didn't move it or anything. But the beauty behind the scene, which we're gonna give you guys, is to see right over here, guys. Look at that beautiful. Right over here, I have some more stuff which I guys I want you guys to see exactly what Chef Ricardo is all about when you're making Jamaican ginger beer. Alright, lovely. So basically, as I can see, right here, that's my little strainer. Basically, I'm gonna simply strain off all of those stuff which I have inside of it for the ginger beer. Oh, don't wanna spoil my stuff. So we're gonna strain it like this first. So I finished strain it, but the beauty is, when you strain it, guys, honestly, you can see, I want to catch all of those juice and everything out of it. Lovely and nice. But I never seen anything like this before. It's really thick. So basically I'm wondering, all right. So right here I have some ice and I have my glass. So I want to serve it on my Christmas table. And you know what I mean? I want everyone to be happy this Christmas. So I'm just going to put some ice in my glass like this. But I'm just giving you a tip and an idea where you guys can do it. Beautiful. The next thing is simple pour straight inside of it like this. Ah oh, man, that is beautiful. That is 
excellent. Really, really fantastic, guys. And I want you guys to enjoy the recipe. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel as you can see that looking so lovely, nice, and yummy, yummy. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I'm telling you, I'm definitely gonna have to drink some of this. As soon as I finish, I'm gonna drink a portion of this, guys. Seriously. That looking so lovely and nice. So what we're gonna do now is simple. Put a nice piece of a little. If you have lemon or lime, that's fine. You can use whatever you wanna use. Lemon or lime is up to you. Serve it just like this. Christmas ginger beer. This is fantastic. Hopefully you guys will like the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching Chef for Color Cooking Program. We've got a lot more recipe like that coming up for you. As you can see, it's an amazing recipe. And I know you guys will love it. So see you next time with the Jamaican Christmas beer. Ginger beer recipe from Chef Ricardo. Volume 2 or 3, I don't know if you're going to call it that. But enjoy the recipe and see you next time. Bye-bye. Christmas, we have a lot of idea. Remember the Jamaican rum fruit cake and sorry, so a lot of things is coming for you guys. So thank you so much, and hopefully you have a wonderful time. Enjoy yourself and see you in the next time. Bye bye.